my last like double shot as well. I should have. Uh, we could just make it like a, a honey glaze, Gavin, and I'll just drink that, couldn't we? Today it's all about the gammon. I'm going to show you how to smoke a gammon in the Kamado Joe and we're going to finish it off with a bourbon and coke glaze. This is going to be beautiful. Now with gammon, a lot of the time, a lot of people tend to boil the gammon or soak the gammon to take some of the saltiness out. I find if you get yourself good quality gammon joint from a good top butcher, they aren't quite as salty as maybe they used to be. They use different practices. Um, I know this one here from Philip Warren Butchers is great quality. I know I don't need to soak it. It's just got the perfect amount of saltiness. And then obviously we're going to counteract the saltiness with a nice sweet glaze. Smoking the gammon this way in your barbecue really couldn't be easier. Like I said, we're not going to faff about with boiling at first. I've had the skin removed on this, so make sure you ask your butcher to remove the skin. And all I'm going to do with this is we're just going to score a nice diamond pattern in that fat. And the reason we do that is because it's going to give more surface area for that glaze to sink into. When you've got all those kind of tracks along there, the glaze is going to sink in and just give you that extra flavour. So I'm just going to score the skin. We're going to get some mustard on there and then I'm going to pop some cloves in there. And then I'm going to go for a rub on here that's going to complement the glaze perfectly. I'm going to go for a Jack Daniels and Cola rub that I've got from Angus and Oink. So let's crack on and prepare the gammon. So you see how simple that was to prepare, to score the skin, bit of mustard on there. We've got the Jack Daniels and Coke rub and we've got the cloves in there. Now I'm going to be cooking this in my Kamado Joe Big Joe. I've got it running at about 150 Celsius, which is 300 Fahrenheit. Now the beauty of gammon is it's very forgiving. Now you can cook this at 225 Fahrenheit, you can cook it up to 350 Fahrenheit. I'm cooking it at around about 300. I'm going to take it to an internal temperature of about 65 degrees will be when it's finished, it hits 65, but when it hits about 60, that's when we're gonna start putting the glaze on. So I'm gonna use the Thermopen dot to measure the internal temperature while it's cooking. So let's pop that in there. Let's get this over the smoke. I'm using cherry for the smoke. Time-wise, probably about four hours, but like I said, I always cook the temperature. So once it hits 60, we're gonna pop the glaze in there, get that all over the gammon. It is gonna be absolutely beautiful. So the gammon is in, that's smoking away. I'm now gonna show you how we make our glaze. Now we're gonna make all of this now and then we're gonna pop it in towards the end of the cook to get that glaze nice and thick. We want it to thicken up. And then when the gammon hits around 60 degrees internal temperature, that's when we're gonna start pouring the glaze over the gammon. And remember, we're gonna take the gammon out when it hits 65. So for the glaze, honey. So we're gonna go in with around about 80 to 100 ml of honey. So just get that into a pan. A little bit more, that should do us. Obviously it's a bourbon and coke glaze, so bourbon, I haven't got a lot left. It was a toss up between putting it in here and drinking it. We're gonna put it in here. I've got another bottle somewhere. So bourbon, around about 50, uh, maybe 60 mil, we'll stick it all in, about 80 mil there of bourbon, but use 50, use whatever you fancy. So we've got that in there. We've got some Dijon mustard, gonna go in with about, a tablespoon, a good sized tablespoon of Dijon mustard into there. Now we want some pepper. We're going to use about a quarter of a teaspoon or so of pepper. Cayenne pepper, just for a little, little tiny hint of spice. About a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Obviously we want some sugar in there. We want it really nice and sweet. So I've got this dark muscovado sugar. So we're going to go in with around about 
150, 200 grams of that. Um, we're just going to pour it in. We'll have a taste once it goes in and it heats up. We'll have a taste to see how it is and we'll balance it out if we need to. But obviously, sugar, in that goes. And of course, we want a bit of Coke. It is a bourbon and Coke glaze. So we're going to pop a bit of that in there as well. So probably about 60, 70, 80 mil of Coke. But again, we'll see how it goes. Once it's heating up, you'll be able to cook it down to your desired consistency and just taste as you go. So I'm just going to mix that up now and that's just going to go in there, like I said, for about half an hour before the cook's done. When it hits about 60, this is going to start going over that gammon. It is going to be beautiful. It smells good already. That is it. That's the glaze. There we go, there's my bourbon and coke glazed gammon. It looks glorious, it smells glorious. Been in there for around about four hours, taking on that lovely cherry smoke, and we finished it off with that bourbon and coke glaze for about the last half an hour. Now I have got a confession to make, I have taken this to 70 degrees, but that doesn't matter. With gammon, you can take it to 60, 65, 70, even 75, it all depends on the texture that you want. The lower it is, if it's 60, 65s, it's a bit moister, a bit juicier. Some people prefer that, some people prefer it drier. So we've gone 70, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna slice in and see exactly how we've done. And like I said, I told you I cooked it at 70 degrees, but you can still see that it's got quite a bit of moisture in there. It's still nice and juicy. This looks absolutely perfect to me. And that glaze is really, really sticky. I do hope you'll give this a go. I mean, bourbon and coke is a winner to me. Gammon is a winner to me. When you put some smoke on that gammon and you put the bourbon and coke on the gammon, it's happy days. I'm the Smoking Elk. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.